Join me while we take a look at what's trending in signage and lettering at grocery stores here in suburban Kansas City. I first went to the recently remodeled Hen House and they have a great new sign system and look inside the store and one of the things they utilize are these chalkboard signs done with markers. Um, they're hand lettered by regular employees and illustrated by the regular employees as well. Well, they're not awful, they're not great, and they've chosen some strange styles of lettering to use, sometimes ineffectively. Uh, don't really understand using drop shadows and what colors need to be used or how to swash letters um, very effectively. Uh, no real layout or design. Again, using fonts that are strange and emulating the uh, strange characteristics of no joins in that font. Altogether, they've just missed an opportunity to take the whole sign system up a notch um, by not having these look more professional. And their A-frame sign outside the store also is very weak. At Whole Foods, it was a different story. They had an A-frame sign outside that was colorful and bold and beautiful and um, real attractive. It has these great illustrations throughout the whole store where they've blocked in the fruits or vegetables, added some highlights and lowlights, and then outlined them in black to make them pop. It's a very simple and effective sign painterly solution. The lettering is definitely not professional, but it's clear and it's legible. The same style goes on throughout the whole store. It's a very uniform sign system, and it's clear and legible. It's well designed. The whole sign blank is taken into consideration and utilized effectively. They do have a couple of in-house graphic designers that do all their signage as well as their print work, and it shows. It's very upscale. It's very classy and gourmet, um, and yet it's still unique and custom, and gives it a very personal touch and it does say we're Whole Foods very effectively. This was my favorite sign system. At Natural Grocers the first sign in the door was a sign that looked like a school kids project and it got worse. Um, just hardly legible. No sign system um, and very ineffective hand lettering. I did like their produce department signs due to the photographs, which make it really easy to find the price of whatever produce you're buying. But they just don't have any real good sign system in place, and they could definitely use some art and just a little more pizzazz. At another local chain, the Price Chopper, they have this sign system in place. It's reminiscent of the old sign writers and show card lettering that used to be in all the stores and was just so beautiful. But this is a slot sign with cards that are pre-printed. Both the numbers and the names of the products are um, interchangeable and some blanks that they've hand lettered when they needed them. It's a passable sign system. Sprouts is new and it is not a farmer's market by any means and their sign needs a little kerning. They have computer generated printed signs throughout the stores and they have utilized the same exact um, slot signs that Price Chopper has in their produce department. Trader Joe's is a fun and funky store chain that's recently come to our area and I love it because they always personalize the stores. They have painters that do murals um, based upon photographs, both historical and of landmarks that they create and they then make copies of them. They print them out and they apply them to the wall. And these are cut in with the color of the wall, the yellow paint, to make them look like they were done on the wall. Now, some of their stores have them in frames, but it's really effective at getting a sense of location and making it feel like it's a personal, custom, little quaint market here. They still retain their South Sea Surfer California theme throughout the store as well. A lot of their signage is 
this handwritten laminated sign that they have then cut out in different shapes. They're attractive but not always real legible. The lettering isn't very high quality. They have a lot of foam core cutouts and apply three-dimensional objects that are real cute and attractive and give it that little funky homespun look that they're striving for. Within the different departments, they have um, printed blanks that somebody's illustrated and drawn little borders on, and then the employees write the names of the products and the prices on it. Some are better than others, and some stores are much better than others. They're not exactly the same throughout every store. Um, they're done by employees of the store, again, not trained necessarily in graphic design. Sometimes they are. Um, but in this case, uh, some of the numbers are not real legible and clear, but they work. They also utilize this chalkboard with uh, chalk markers throughout the store. And again, some of the signs are a little busy and not quite as attractive as others, but it's all fun and funky at Trader Joe's. And this is one place where naive lettering and uh, really works. It is an effective part of their branding, and they don't want it to look too clean and corporate. Last but not least, I went to my Walmart neighborhood market. Now, the neighborhood markets do partake of the parent company's sign system, which is very professional, clean, clear, and kind of cold and corporate, but it is really effective. It's easy to navigate. You can tell what they're selling. They're selling their low price <laughs> throughout the store, but it's easy to see how much everything costs. It's really a very clear and good sign system, even if it screams a little bit. Um, the white on blue is really legible and reminds me of the road signs and uh, Audubon signs in Germany. A breath of fresh air. It, the corporate thing was actually very pleasant. While I didn't really see any impressive hand lettering, I did learn a lot from the sign systems and I hope you did too.